Hey everybody, Reggie Pie Guy here. Today I'm gonna do a full setup demo and review of this Bill Ross Super Nintendo styled Raspberry Pi 4 cooling fan case. So I'm gonna open this up for you just so you can take a quick look before we get started. Inside here, you have your cooling fan case for your Raspberry Pi 4. Obviously I have not set this up with a Raspberry Pi 4 computer board yet, but you can see just looking at it that it looks exactly like a Super Nintendo console. So it really has a nice retro feel to it right out of the box. So we're gonna go ahead and set this up with a Raspberry Pi 4. I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step process for doing so, and then we'll test this out. All right, so first thing we'll do is open this up. See here we have our case. We have our instruction manual here, which is nicely laid out. I did check this out already. You can see really simple instructions to follow here. Just make sure that you have all of your parts. We're gonna set this aside because I do know how to set this up. So I'm just gonna do it and show you the step-by-step -step process. So the first thing we're gonna do, just look it over, make sure that everything's good. There's no um, broken pieces or anything like that. So we're gonna just pop this open. You can just start here up by the, where the uh, openings for the ports are. And it just pops right open. You can see that the cooling fan is already mounted in here. So all you have to do is connect the wires to your Raspberry Pi 4, which is nice. So inside we have our four screws here. This is what we're gonna to use to mount the actual Raspberry Pi 4 to the inside of the cooling fan case here. So I am gonna just dump these out over here, make sure they don't roll away. So here we have a little card from Vilros. If we flip it over, it's just telling us where to put the um, cooling fan pins on our Raspberry Pi 4. Um, taking a closer look at that, that's actually not where I've ever installed a cooling fan. That's not where I've ever wired it in anyways. So I'll have to check that out. Maybe they have a different um, setup here that requires you to plug into different pins, but those definitely aren't the pins that I typically go into for a cooling fan on a Raspberry Pi 4. So I'm definitely gonna check that out. Um, maybe I'm totally off and with this particular one, you have to go into different pins, but again, that's just not the um, pins that I have ever used on a cooling fan for a Raspberry Pi 4. So we'll set that aside. We have a little screwdriver here and we have the rubber feet that go on the bottom of this just to make this um, slip resistant. So now I'm gonna grab my Raspberry Pi 4 here, brand new Raspberry Pi 4, four gigabyte RAM. I'm gonna just open this up, remove that, and we'll get started here. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna just line up where your ports are gonna be. So here you can see that's where they go. So we'll line this up accordingly. a tight squeeze but it fits in there really nice and secure actually kind of clicks into place which is nice you don't have to um, even put those screws in yet to have this sitting in there nicely so I do like that I'm going to use the screwdriver that's provided here just to test that out it's um, not magnetic so it does make it a little bit more challenging but it certainly works so I lied I'm not going to use that I'm going to use mine magnetic works a lot better but certainly nothing wrong with the um, screwdriver being included on here Grab the other one mine's just magnetic so it makes this go a lot quicker So you can see here that I put the two screws in to mount the Raspberry Pi computer board to the cooling fan case, but I only did the bottom two if we're looking at this with our ports facing the left-hand side. And the reason for that is the top ones here actually go in from the bottom. So you put the screw in this way with the screw head exposed on this end. But we're gonna wait until we put the top of our cooling fan case on because it'll sit on here just like this. And you'll see that the screws will actually come up from the bottom and tie in right up here to the top of our cooling fan case. So we're gonna wait on that. Next thing we need to do is we need to wire this in now. So we have to connect our Raspberry Pi 4 cooling fan to our board. So I'm gonna do this the way that I've always done this, which is you put the red one into that second pin. So if you take a look here, I'll show you. I have one pin open there, so it goes into the second one. And now the black one is gonna go directly next to that. So again, I'll show you a close up there. You can see I have one pin open on the bottom side and then the red 
followed by the black. So into the second one and then the third one, leaving this first one open here. So now I'm just gonna cover this up. We're gonna just line this up very carefully here. Always a good idea to just line it up from the um, side there by the ports. It just clicks right into place. You can hear it click right in there. So we're gonna go to those two bottom holes, this one here and this one here, and we're gonna drop our screw into there. And we will just crank this down just to make that final connection for our Raspberry Pi. Make sure everything's nice and secure in there. Make sure that you don't over tighten these because you have to remember that everything is plastic inside. So if you really crank down on it, you could definitely strip it. So that's good. You can see here, everything lines up for our HDMI and power supply. Same thing over here with our ports, everything is lined up perfectly. So now it's time to power this on and test it out. All right, so I've just plugged in my micro HDMI cable here into the HDMI port and I've plugged in my power supply. So I'm just gonna click on my power supply here. You can see that the lights light up really nicely here. Fan is running nicely as well. Nice ventilation here. So again, I'm not really sure what they were recommending in terms of how to connect the actual cooling fan here to the Raspberry Pi 4 computer board. I just did it the exact same way I've always done it on any cooling fan case that I've ever set up. You can hear it here, it's, it's purring and um, nice uh, breeze blowing right out of there. So everything's functioning 100%. So you can definitely try it along with the way that they suggest in the instructions. I just did it the way I've always done it. it seems to be working perfectly well here. Everything booted up fine. Everything is laid out really nicely here. And I think just leaving this out as your console has a really nice retro look and feel to it. So definitely happy with the way it looks. So let's jump out of here and we'll talk about the pros and cons of this cooling fan case. All right, so you can see that we just did our full demo on how to set this up with the Raspberry Pi 4. So it went really smoothly, pretty much in line with most of the cooling fan case setups out there. The only thing that's different is, in this case, you fasten your Raspberry Pi computer board with two screws going through the top and then two going in the bottom, which we walk through on here. So again, it makes no difference, but it is a little bit different than your standard cooling fan case setup. So moving on to the layout here, I really like it. Obviously it looks just like a Super Nintendo console. So it does have that retro look and feel, which I really like. Uh, definitely takes you back to the old days of having an original Super Nintendo console. Obviously this is a fraction of the size, but still has that same retro look and feel, which I really like. Um, the next thing I want to point out is your ports are all in the back in terms of like your um, HDMI or micro HDMI output, your power supply, your three and a half millimeter headphone jack, everything's in the back side of this, which is nice. So if you have this sitting on like a desk or a mantle, something like that, all your cables are connecting on the rear side and then going to the wall or up to your TV or monitor. Whereas a lot of cooling fan cases will have those on the side. So you have a side profile view of all those connections being made and then going up to you know your TV monitor or outlet for your power supply. So I definitely think this is a little bit neater look to it just because they are on the back, they're a little bit more hidden. So looking at it from the front like this, you're not seeing any cables or anything like that. So I do really like that because again, it's just a neater look, looks a little bit more tidy, just personal preference there, but I definitely think most people will like that. So the other thing I wanna point out is now your USB ports are all here on the side. So you will connect into the side in that case for wired controllers and stuff like that. Not a big deal, but it is really nice because it's easy to access all those. So if you're switching gamepad controllers or you know disconnecting or connecting, super easy to get to all of that. But if you're using a Bluetooth gamepad controller, you're not even utilizing those ports, then they're on the side there and they're not an eyesore at all. Again, you're looking at it straight on for the most part. And it's definitely looking really nice and clean. So I definitely like the layout here. Uh, in terms of the cooling fan inside here, it's like a fraction smaller than most of the other cooling fan cases out there. It's not a big deal at all. It still performs really well. It's got nice ventilation here up at the top. Also a little ventilation at the bottom here to the board itself. So definitely gets a pretty decent amount of airflow through here. So I definitely like it. The other thing I want to point out, your micro SD card slot, also located on the side really easy to access, which again, really like anything that's super convenient like that. So in terms of the layout, everything is just on point, looks really nice, feels really nice. And I think that it's just a um, really great layout in general. So moving on to what's included in the actual kit. Now this is the only issue I have with this, and it's not a big issue, but 
It's definitely an uh, inconvenience, I suppose. It doesn't include any heat sinks for your Raspberry Pi 4 when you set this up. Most cooling fan cases out there include the heat sinks. For them to buy them, you know, as a distributor that's making this or a manufacturer, they would be paying like 10 cents for a whole set of these. 10 cents to like 25 cents, depending on which ones you go with. So they don't include them here, which I think is definitely something that they should do in the future if they were gonna circle back and you know, figure out a way to improve this kit. I think that including heat sinks in there would definitely be the way to go. And then you would have the ultimate package here in terms of a cooling fan case because literally all the other cooling fan cases out there that I've ever purchased include those heat sinks. So now you don't actually need heat sinks, but it definitely gives you another layer of support in terms of cooling your Raspberry Pi, which if you're doing game emulation, you definitely wanna keep it as cool as possible at all times. So I definitely recommend getting heat sinks. You can purchase them separately for five or six bucks on Amazon, uh, much less if you go on eBay, but usually eBay is gonna send them to you from China or something like that. It's gonna take months and months to get here. So definitely spend the extra couple bucks to get them quick. With Amazon, you can get them in like two days at the most with Amazon Prime. So I'll put a link in the description below just to make it easy and convenient for you, both for the cooling fan case here, as well as for the heat sinks, which you would have to buy separately again, because they're just not included in here. But, um, you know, that's really the only issue here. And again, like I said, it's not a big deal. You can go out and get them separate, but definitely factor in the additional cost for getting those heat sinks because you definitely want to put them in here just to help yourself out with keeping this cool or as cool as you possibly can. So that's really everything I have to say about this. All in all, really nice product here, really nice layout. And if you're into the Super Nintendo look and feel, then this is definitely the cooling pan case for you. It transforms your you know, not pretty Raspberry Pi 4 into a pretty cool looking console. So that's gonna do it for today. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button for me. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel here. We do a whole bunch of different videos based around retro gaming. We do product reviews like this one, gameplay demos, tutorials, just a little bit of everything here. And of course, check us out online on our website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.